Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Whit here again with another video. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Um, today I'm gonna be doing my Black Friday haul video, which is long overdue. Black Friday was literally, literally like three weeks ago, but everything that I ordered finally is here. It was just one thing that was just taking too long, but it's finally here now, so I'm able to put up my video. Also, um, I'm gonna have some miscellaneous items that I recently picked up which I didn't get on Black Friday, but I also wanted it to be a part of this video. So I'm gonna start off with that first, and then we'll go ahead and start the Black Friday haul, which is, the things that I picked up recently are just like, it's like three things, so let me go ahead and get started. I don't want this intro to be too long. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was if you guys have seen, Sephora Collection came out with some new lip stains. Remember I told you guys in my Sephora One Brand haul video that they were trying to come out with new things, and finally the liquid lips up. Ah! All right, so um, Sephora came out with some new lip stains, which they have an amazing formula and also an amazing price point. So I picked up three. These are the colors that I got. I got the shade 25, which is like a burnt, rusty orange. It's super pretty. Um, yeah, I love colors like this. I just love really rusty orange colors. So I got this one. Then I got the shade 42. And they all have like names as well, but they're online. They only have the numbers on it. But this is number 42. It's like a pretty like muted burgundy in a way. It's super pretty, um, gorgeous, amazing for me. And then the last color that I got was number 24. And this also is like a muted purple. It kind of reminds me of Veronica by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this is like a few bucks cheaper, so if you're looking for some liquid lipsticks, but you weren't trying to really shuffle out some money because some of these can get really pricey, I would definitely try these out. The formula reminds me of the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. Like, they're still very comfortable, but they're very long wearing. I think they're amazing. So, yeah, I got these three. The next thing that I got was, This is the MAC and Mariah Carey um, Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, this is the highlighter that she came. This is the highlighter that she came out with with her collection. It is gorgeous. It has her face literally imprinted on it. It is so Mariah Carey. Like what? So I'm gonna open this for you guys so you guys can see that. Look at that. And yes, I have used it already. I'm just using like the sides of it, like where the hairs are at, because I don't even want to mess up the face, it's so pretty. And I am wearing the highlighter today, if you guys can see that. It is so gorgeous, it looks so pretty, especially if you have deeper skin tone. It's just gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a swatch of it. And I'm also gonna do a comparison to Max Gold Deposit, because I know it looked very similar when I was like considering buying it, I was like, are they the same? There's a comparison. So this is Max Mainini, and then this is Gold Deposit. I think the Mariah Carey, I like the way the formula feels. It's a lot more silky and a lot more smooth. The Gold Deposit is a little bit more rough feeling, like a little more powdery feeling, I guess you could say. The only thing that I was just like taken aback by from this um, highlighter was the price point. Now I know usually with collections, the highlighters can tend to, and in general, not just highlighters, but like usually with matte collections, the price can go up just a little bit from the original, which is understandable. Most MAC highlighters are usually from $30 to $35. This was $45.50 before taxes, but taxes was $49. And I'm just like, bro, okay, you go up a few bucks. Most MAC usually goes up two, three dollars. This was like a whole $10. And I'm just like, what? And it took me, like, I really wanted it, that's why I bought it, but this highlighter was just a little too pricey, and I haven't had to spend that much money on a highlighter in so long. I'm just like, wow, Mac, you tried it. Okay, and then the last thing that I got that was also like a miscellaneous item, it is the new, and this just actually came in the mail today, it is the BH Cosmetics Zero Nude Rose Highlighter. Um, this came out, like, sometime last week. Um, this retails for $10.50, which is an amazing price. Usually it's supposed to be $16, but I mean, it's, I don't know why, it's, I don't know why, why BH Cosmetics says that this is the original price, but they always give a discount price, because that's the real price. 
they just want to make you feel better about buying it because like oh it's on sale but it's that's that's the real value of it comes a mirror which is amazing and also comes with like a little film protector and um y'all i just washed it right away when i got it and it is it is pretty good like it is good the only one that i don't really care much for is this pink one right here it's a little powdery but um this one is bomb.com so is this one and so is this one this one's a little chunky though it's a little chunky but this one goes on the smoothest so i'm going to show you guys swatches of that do y'all see how pigmented that is like the two in the middle are the most pigmented in my opinion i am so in love with this and i can't wait to actually try this out on my face so yeah you guys if you're trying if you're looking for some inexpensive Highlighters, because I know like the glow kits are a good deal. I'm not gonna lie, the glow kits by Anastasia are an amazing deal, but not everyone can just shelf out $40 for a highlight palette, and then everything is pretty much out of stock because it's holiday. So if you're looking for something a little bit more inexpensive, a little bit more cheaper, and still very good quality, I would definitely check out this BH Cosmetics highlighter palette. And I also forgot, but for reference, so it doesn't have the amount each highlighter in this new rose palette is but it says that the whole thing is 21 grams so if you do the math and, and if i'm doing it correctly because i'm not a math major but you should be getting about five point something grams in this palette and i'll show you a reference like for how big they are because it is a pretty good size um the anastasia glow kit has 4.5 grams in each of theirs and you get six so this is kind of like a size um about the size reference so the BH is just a little bit bigger than the Anastasia one so you are kind of getting your money like you're actually getting more of your money's worth because you're gonna get four big highlighters that you probably won't ever run out of and you get four different options so okay so now that's that with um, the miscellaneous items now I'm gonna go and show you guys what I got during Black Friday the first thing that I got was some brushes from Morphe you know, you guys see I use Morphe a lot on my channel. So I got three brushes from them. The first one I got it is the B71. And I got this off of Kathleen Light's recommendation. So she was using this to like comb her lashes. Hey, sometimes when I do mascara, my lashes can be looking a little like spider legs. They look a little crunchy. And I don't like the way it looks, so she used this to comb her lashes through after she put on mascara so that it was still long and pretty, but it wasn't all like crunchy and clumped up together. The next brush that I got, it is the Morphe R31. This is part of their Rose Gold series. And this is their highlight definer brush, and that's exactly what I got it for, is for highlighter. Cause I just haven't been liking the way my highlighter has been applying on lately. So I'm trying to change it up and I wanted something more so where I can like put it on like this than like this because when I do it like this, it just spreads down and I don't like that. I want it to be like blinging on the cheekbones. And the last brush that I got from Morphe, it is their M533. I needed another blending brush because you guys know I like use the heck out of my Sephora Pro Number 10 brush. And it's very hard for me to find a blending brush that I like because I don't like, I know most people will think I'm crazy, but I don't like my blending brushes to be soft. Not only to be rough, like where it's hurting my eyeballs, but like, I like for them to be a little, a little rough, also soft at the same time, because when it's too soft, I can't blend out my shadow the way I want to. So I like for it to be a little rough. And this fits perfectly. It's good in size. It's not too big, not too small. So I got this brush just so I can have some different options because nothing compares to my Sephora brush that I use all the time. So maybe this one could, you know, make some cameos in my videos. Let's see how it does that right there. <laughs> Next thing that I got was from this brand called Who Is She Cosmetics. Like, who is she? Cosmetics. And I've talked about them once in another haul video of mine. It was my very first haul video. It was my huge, massive collective haul video. And it was, it was this highlight palette that I was talking about right here in that video. Well, they came out with like another highlight palette but it's not a highlight palette it's like a blush bronzer highlight palette and it's called um the napoleon glow bar now before we even talk about the product let's talk about the packaging 
Now, if you guys remember in the other video, I hated the way this was packaged because it didn't have who they were on the front. I mean, it did have this on the back, which is okay, but it didn't tell me which highlighter is which, and I still don't know which highlighter is which till today. Um, but at least with this one, they you know they have a thing on the front, and it tells you which one is which. Um, it is a little sticker, you know, the brand is a little bit more new, so it is a newer brand, so they're up and coming, so things that like Too Faced can have, like they're being imprinted and embossed in their packaging, um, they're getting there. But so their quality is very good. So yet again, this is how it looks. So you get the highlight shade, you get a bronzer shade, and you get a blush shade. And let me show you guys this up close. Now, what took me off guard, it is the bronzer shade, because you can see it looks like a little duochrome. And I'm like, how, how is that a bronzer? But it caught my eye and it made me want to buy it. So let me show you guys some swatches. So these are the swatches. This is the highlighter shade. This is the blush shade. And this is supposed to be the bronzer shade. I have tried out the bronzer shade and I did put it on a little bit. Um, not today, but I have tried it on beforehand. And it's cool, like it's something that I wouldn't do every day and I probably wouldn't really consider a bronzer, but um, it's different. I'll probably grab it as an eyeshadow to use sometimes. All right, so the next thing that I got during Black Friday, it is the Colored Rain Lip, um, Liquid Lipsticks. I, all right, so I got it in the shade Empire, which is this really pretty brown metallic shade. Um, one thing that I noticed, because I haven't bought from Color Green, like I haven't bought any of their liquid lipsticks since like the summer. Um, the packaging is different. This is the old packaging. It was sleek, simple, you know, got Color Green in black right here, pink cap. And I do like this new packaging. The only thing that I don't like about the new packaging is the fact that the cap is taller. Look at this, you guys. This just pissed my whole soul off because I'm one of those people like, I like for everything to look uniform. And so when I put these with the other color rain lipsticks that I have, they're just gonna stand out because they're so freaking tall. And it's gonna piss me off. But I do like all of this stuff they got going on. I mean, I did like the old packaging and I still do. I like how it's just straight to the point clean, but this is also cute too. Also, one thing I forgot to mention about the new, the applicator, they changed it. Um, I don't think I like the new applicator. I think I like the old one. Let me show you guys the difference in those. So the new one is like flat all over. Um, it actually makes things a little bit harder to get um, a precise, like, pretty much it makes things harder to get really good precision with these new liquid lipsticks. One thing I can say that I do also like about the new um, liquid lipstick is the smell. It smells like um, watermelons but I don't like the new applicator. Next color that I got was the shade Francis. And it is this really pretty, like, um, metallic, well, they're all metallic, I got all metallic shades. Like this creamsicle vanilla metallic shade. Um, it's a little unwearable by itself, but I bought it just so that I can be able to, um, you know, mix it with other shades. So. And the last shade I got was Cotton Candy, which is also another metallic shade. And it is this pretty like pink purple color with like gold reflex, super gorgeous liquid lipstick. And then as you guys already know, I got the Color Drain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette, which I did a tutorial using this. And if you haven't seen that tutorial, I will link that down below. It does come like a little film, which I think I'll keep because it's so pretty. So I'm gonna keep this. But um, it's like this, it's sleek black. And it comes with six shades. Um, you get six metallics and six regular shadows. Um, I don't know what to say about this. Like, I just, I love it. I love this palette. I'm in love, like this shade right here, and I use it in a tutorial, Noble Woman. Oh my gosh. Next thing that I got was by this brand called Clarity Cosmetics um, with the Care Foiled and Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this. So that is what it looks like. Now, I'm gonna show you guys swatches of this. I won't be able to swatch the glitter shades just because, you know what? Let me try. So in the swatches, I didn't show you guys how the glitter swatch because 
Some of them were broken when they came. Well, they weren't pressed, they were loose, and they're quite frankly, they're just not swatching well, um, which is annoying. Um, honestly, I think out of everything I ordered, I think I was the most excited for this, and um, I just feel really let down by this, this palette. I just, it's not what I expected, especially for the price, because originally this is like a 50, it thinks like $59 for this palette before any type of discount. I think I got 20% off this, this palette, so it came out like, I think I paid 40 something with it. I'm not sure. But for it to be $60, for, first, and, first and foremost, you're a new brand, okay? You're not established like that. Second of all, $60 for a palette. $60 for a palette. Who are you, Huda Beauty? <laughs> Even she was crazy for charging people $65 for that palette. And that palette is like, it's good, but it ain't like, dang, you know? So that pissed me off too. Secondly, um, thirdly, I got the palette. The Some of the shades were kind of broken or whatever. And I mean, okay, I emailed them, asking them, hey, can I get um, either a new palette or, I don't even care if I get a new palette, just how would I fix this? They never responded to me, but then I talked to them on Instagram and she responded to me. So I was like, how do you fix this? Cause mine kind of came loose and they told me what to do. But it pisses me off because in that email, I asked how to fix it. And I also asked about a new one and y'all just want to act like y'all emails don't work. That pissed me off. Fourthly, that another thing that irritated me about this palette is you're gonna get a judge a lot harsher when you throw out claims that aren't true. You said this was a foiled eyeshadow palette. Only one shade in this palette was like high shine. Everything was just like everything else was just kind of like basic shadows. Like ba they were barely even even shimmery. It was only one shade in this palette, and it was. This one right here, you got yeah. this palette. Oh my gosh, y'all see that glitter is falling. Oh, y'all see this? A hot mess. Only one shade. Let me show you guys slowly because I still paid for this and I still want to be able to use it. Is this shade right here? Is the only one that is like even like close to high shine. You guys, this is. So don't sit up here and say your shadows are foiled. And then I swatched them. They're nowhere near foiled. Foiled is like. Make a V foil eyeshadows. Foil is like the colored rain foil eyeshadows. This is not foil. A lot of people have been throwing out foil on their eyeshadows, and I'm like, do you know what foil is? Foil, it should literally look like it is foiled. This is a basic eyeshadow. The whole palette pisses me off. I don't even know what to do. I mean, I'm gonna try to use it because you know I did pay for it, but I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I'm kind of, I'm, this is low key a rant. I don't even know why I'm showing it in a haul video, but yes, I am not happy at all with that palette at all. Anyways, moving on. So the next thing that I got, it is from Anastasia. This is what kind of delayed the haul video. She, ooh, y'all, honest, I think out of all of the, all of the people that have like Black Friday deals, I wanna say Anastasia probably had one of the best deals. Her single eyeshadows were 60% off. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I went crazy and I got 24. So this is it. This is what it is. And if you're looking, counting, you're like, Whitney, I definitely see 25 in there, you're right. I already own Pink Champagne prior to um, getting these. It was the only Anastasia single eyeshadow that I owned. I'm gonna move this black, because it's actually really awkward to place. This looks better, right? That purple there now. And you know what? <laughs> I'm so happy, because when I found out Sephora was getting Anastasia eyeshadows, I was too happy. I was so excited, but then I just procrastinated. And you know, sometimes we be praying against the spirit of procrastination, like, Father in heaven, I have to just remove that spirit of procrastination. No, sometimes you have to procrastinate because procrastinating got me this amazing deal. Because I would have bought these shadows at, I mean, yes, I would have got a discount with Sephora, but like, it wouldn't have been this type of discount. These were 480 each. From $12 to 480, I was like, yes. So I am so happy that I procrastinated for months upon months and then got this during Black Friday because this is a good deal. I have them placed in the Sephora Collection Holiday Z Palette, which is like a pretty gold color with glitter gold on the outside. You see it on this side. This is their Holiday Palette. Last year, this was the Holiday Z Palette they came out with, which was like 
a rose gold cheetah palette with the pink, pink on the side. I kind of like this year's a little bit better. I think I just like the gold of it. So yeah, this is their Holiday Z palette. And Anastasia did send me her, um, her palettes to put them in, but I didn't want to use that. But I will keep them because, you know, in case I ever travel or whatever it is, it's convenient to just have that. I put like my top eight eyeshadow, the top four that I really wanted to just feel like, just wanted to use to travel with. But I just kind of want to put all my shadows in one Z palette than having them in different ones. And I'm trying to pick and see which one I want to use. So yeah, I got that. And the last thing that I got, which I saved this for last because I don't know, a lot of you guys will be like, Whitney, really? But yes. So the person I'm about to mention has had a very controversial year. Like, it has pissed a lot of people off. He even pissed me off one point in time. And yeah, he's just, he, this person has had, he has had a year. And it is none other than the Jeffree Star Skin Frost. And I know a lot of you guys are like, why you know but listen the man apologized now whether he means it or not is between him and God I'm gonna take that apology and like you know what I'm just gonna move on with it so I did get the highlighter he released on Black Friday in the shade Regina George and to be quite honest with you guys I am also very disappointed in this and not because it is literally a bright pink highlighter Essence, like the, the color is actually very very deceiving because it is nowhere near this bright it is a very subtle glow and if you guys can see like let me get this closer you guys can see all of those marks because when I got it I swatched it right away and I had to even scrape it because this um this this highlighter is very 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 dry like let me show you guys so I'm gonna take this out I'm just gonna swatch it as hard as I can because you can't do a soft swatch with this. So swatching it this hard, this is what I came out came out with. And let me show you guys this. I'm just gonna do it right here live. That that right there. It's all patched. Do you see that? Let me turn down my ring light because I feel like you guys can't really see it. And there we go. You see how patchy that is? What? I am just so pissed off. And this is, I have some of his other highlighters. I have the King Tut. And this one is smooth. Like, it just, it glides on. Like, it is a lot smoother. I don't know. And, you know, you can't say that on Jeffree Star's page or you get blocked or whatever it is. But a lot of people have been complaining, like, Jeffree, what's going on? This is really, really, really dry. Now, for all the people who are making fun of the, sh the um, actual highlighter being, like, acting like it's gonna be super, super pink, um, they actually look stupid now because it's nothing like that. It's very subtle, very, very, very subtle. Um, it is not high shine like I thought it would be. So, yeah, that's another thing that I'm disappointed in. That one and the Clarity Cosmetics really just kind of pissed me off. But other than that, I'm happy with everything else that I got for Black Friday. All right, you guys, so that is it to my haul video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you like, um, if anything that I showed you guys today caught your interest. Let me know what you guys got for Black Friday. And also make sure you comment, like this video, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm about to play a jam that I think we've all forgotten about, but we finna get crunk to it real quick.